Hey guys, Gary here from RV Living Life. Thanks for coming back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the microwave. We have a um, convection microwave and most people have these in their coaches and a lot of people when they get them their wives are very unhappy because they don't have an oven and they can't imagine cooking in a microwave you know like an oven and so I found with doing some research that the people that like these ovens are the people that use them. The people that don't use them don't like them. You know, it's crazy like that. But once you learn how to use it, it's it's great. You find people that know how to use them, they love them. So I decided to try it out, see how it goes. And, uh, you know, today I'm going to cook some chicken. I just took it out of the package and I spread it out on one of the racks here. Okay. So I've got eight drumsticks there. And... Uh, what you do is you have three different, we have three different racks, different heights. If I was going to cook 16, you know, I would uh, put eight on one rack and then I put the next rack on top and put eight more on top of that. And they say, you know, you got to switch them around, turn them over, all that stuff halfway through. I found you don't have to do that. You know, you just put them on for the right time. It spins inside the microwave and it does a great job. So the first thing you got to do is you got to get some tin foil. And you just lay it on top of the steel plate that's going to go in the oven. You know, you can get carried away with, you know, wrapping it all around there and everything and making it stay on there really good. But I found that, you know, that's just a waste of time. And then you put your lowest rack on there for chicken. Right. And then you spread spice on it. So the spice I have, you know, I normally use stuff like micro or uh, Montreal chicken. But I have this one today. It's uh, roasted garlic and peppers. This is really good, too. So you just... Uh, sprinkle it on, right? I found that if you put it in your hand, it's a little more accurate at getting it right on. And once you get it on all the chicken, you know, I've already actually put some spice on it. I spiced the other side already and then I turned it over. So I'm just spicing this side now. Okay, and so that's ready to go into the oven now. We have, all we did was we took uh, chicken right out of the fridge it was thawed last night. You got to make sure that your chicken is thawed. And we just put it on the rack and on tin foil. And we're going to put the and we put the tin foil on the plate there. And we're going to put it right in the oven. But the first thing we got to do is got to preheat the oven. So the oven, normally for chicken, you know, everybody's got a different opinion. But what I find on the internet is people say you should cook it at about um, uh, let's see, we push bake, and people say to cook chicken at 425. But according to convection ovens, you're supposed to always set them about 25 degrees below what's recommended for a regular oven. So I'm setting it at 400 and I'm going to start it. So now it's going to preheat. This could take 10 minutes or so, so I'm going to clip the video here. But once it's preheated, I'm just going to put that in and I'll show you how that goes. We'll be right back. Okay, the microwave has beeped now and it says here that it's preheated. And I've got nine and a half minutes to put in my food. So, you know, lots of time. And to recap, all I did was I took the steel plate, put a piece of tin foil over it, put the rack on there, put the chicken on, spiced it all on one side, turned it all over, spiced it on the other side. Very simple. Only took a couple minutes. So now I'm gonna put it in right on top of the glass plate in there and close it. So you start. Now it's asking me for a timer. I'm just going to wind that up. Now, most people say, I don't know, 40, 45 minutes, 50 minutes. I found that um, uh, I found that 50 minutes works pretty good, or 45 minutes. I'm going to go 45 minutes. So it's quite a bit of winding to get this to turn all the way up there for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe there's some better way of doing this. You can probably type in the numbers. I don't know. But anyway. Let's get all the way up there. We're going to bake it at 400. We're at 25 minutes. Just keep going. Okay, so. Eh, I've been turning it a while, so I'll go 44 minutes, right? 4402. So I'm going to let that go. And I'm going to take Lexi for a walk because it's her time of day. You know, she goes twice a day, sometimes three. I'm going to take her for a walk. We'll be gone about half an hour. And uh, then I'm going to put on some rice, and uh, that should be it. And I don't know, maybe I'll show you how to make rice, but I don't think it's necessary. Everybody knows how to make rice. A cup of water, boil it, put it in a cup of rice, cover it, take it away from the flame. That's it. So, time for a walk for Lexi. We'll be back. 
So, might as well show you how to make the whole meal. Why not, eh? So, I've got, uh, you know, a cup of rice, any size of cup you want, and some water. As long as you use the same amount of water as you do rice, you can cook any amount you want. And we'll just put this on the propane stove here. Turn it on. There we go. Put the pot on. Put the water in. Of course, once the water boils, we'll put a little bit tab of margarine in there and a little bit of salt. And we dump the rice in, stir it up for a moment, and then remove it from the heat and cover it. That's it for making rice. You all know that though. Okay, the water's at an active boil now. Just take that off, put a little bit of salt in. Some people pay, say to put in a half a teaspoon or a teaspoon, I just put a little bit. You know, there's too much salt in the world already. And you just dump in the rice. Seems silly to show you how to make rice. We all know how to do that anyway. And a little bit of butter. Mix it all up to get it all wet. Nothing up on the sides like that. And then just cover it, turn off the heat, and we're done. So now I'm gonna walk Lexi. I decided to make the rice first. So we've got uh, 36 minutes to go here, and I'm gonna walk Lexi. When I get back, it'll all be done. The microwave should be shut off. Convection oven, I mean, should be shut off, and the rice will be done. It's gonna be perfect. We'll see when we get back. Taking uh, Lexi for a nice walk, and she's happy. I gave her her biscuits that she gets after every walk, so she's happy. And I'm just looking in here. I can see I have six minutes to go up here. Six minutes and 50 seconds. I can see the chicken is doing very well. There's a little bit of uh, drippings on the tin foil, which is great. And I can see that it's starting to brown a bit. So I'm gonna let it go the other six minutes. And of course, my rice is ready to go. So I'll probably just take a little bit of veggies, uh, you know, nuke them up and mix them in with the rice or not even sure if I have any veggies left right now, but we're going to have chicken and rice for sure. We'll see it when the six minutes is up. Okay, so the chicken just finished. I'm going to open it up, take a look at it. It's all glistening in there. So what I normally like to do is uh, I leave it on the plate in there and I just take it out. So if there's any more that I want after whatever, it'll still be warm. You know, I could just pull it all out of the counter, but that's fine. So, you know, I'm a little hungry. I'll take four pieces of chicken. Look at how awesome that looks. Doesn't that look great? It's all browned and everything. Beautiful. That convection oven does a great job. So I'll just stir up the rice a bit. I'll put some on my plate. Need a better spoon. Oops. And a little bit of soy sauce. there you go chicken and rice quick and easy I love it so if you like what you see give us a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos you know we cover all topics obviously I'm cooking today and uh, you know come on back if you want to see us again please subscribe and ring that little bell uh, bye for now take care thanks guys bye now